on the sea lock. In January, it's going to be very doggled. It's going to take on the bikes here again. And pretty much universally the option for the three star competitors. Don't want to waste any time there. Over the uh, jetty. Getting on the three and on the foot, the event's got the seat on the safety behind them, and go on to the safety advisory service, Cobb, Feb 14. So, uh, doesn't appear to be suffering any adverse effects from her hold on course. There we go. Keep the reins in check, does a very good job. The horse just fighting a little bit for Kissy, having a word. Yeah, she's even... Yeah, she's even... 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 Last okay, year, okay. now through the gully, really narrow through there, the little oh, angles, oh, rip in the middle, jump it very well. I did that, eh? Susan, for the second night, Colin. Yeah, that was done for me, didn't I? Of course. Of course, a very good rest of the to come. That's it, it likes uh, Chris King. I think the West End will be a way ahead of the dress up. Paddy Hill, Danny Brown, first walker, very quickly through the straight bit on the angle. The left hand side puts in a stride before the roll stop. We've seen the bounce out as well. Master Banks gets the bank, pass, and they head up, three to jump. 315. Okay, 315. And goes up to the Willis Hedge at six. The beautifully sculpted defensive. Oh, scrambled over. Of course, over here. That's their castle. Ronnie Alexander signs the courses through the water. Up at the top of the hill. Paddy Muir in front of him at control comes now up towards the focus pocket at 29. The biggest pencil she had probably a four star level. Paddy Muir, Sandy Brown come now. Long gallop back to Tinker's Camper 26 and 7. This defense saw last year playing the young rider Europeans. Similar question. Hedge at 6. This combination went very well at Buccalo, the lovely event in Holland. A few years ago, very good cross country round, as you'd expect. He's got the six time badminton champion, now goes up to seven. At the sea lock, big jump in. Paul Mandela to Claire Abbott, fine after tumble. But this guy's really important. There was flash photography up at 10, but please. Do not use it, as John said earlier, a little bit quick. Like draw counsel of that fence now. Claire no, Abbott, my apologies, up towards the Lurch of Leap at 19. Paddy Neal has completed, right from the north of England. Again, on song, on course. Not sadly here. It is a stop at 21. The second of those. Uh, well, a few scores, four years, we get into the sharper end of the competition. Paddy Muir, Stanley Brown, 9.55. So five seconds, huge jump, out for the top of the course, with the grey high time, so she'll now come back towards the sea lock at 13, three elements here, bounce on the approach, so the grey high time sets up for the straight route, Lucy gives him a quick kick in the ribs, so still on, and he does, love you right over the bridge as well. Yeah. This is all to Lucy Street herself from Novice. They approach the pocket at 29. Oh, it's going quite steady, of course, when the horse is strong, can't keep a run. You don't quite trust they'll come back to you. Well, I know. Four, they're back underway. And then swing right handed. Big loop in this three star class. Royal Council comes home with Catherine Hay. Bill galloping strongly, big pass from the boss, and they complete with a good clear. Out of the water, lovely ride from the fly. I think I got a further round the corner. Really well. good over the straight route. Give him a big hand up at the water. That was really neat. Ross Middleton up the hill up over six. The Willis head four. Seeing he rode at Burley, of course we're looking forward to Land Rover Burley Horse Trials. Just a couple of weeks now, but she rode at Burley with Overton Source goes the longer route through the Anthol Hedges. It's demanding, kind of feature fence here at Blair in that location. Was here last year, similar. Then she jumps well out over Ronald's rails at 25, because 
In fact, we believe it's Bo Diddley that had the four with Selena Elliott at 10, number 324. We will update you as soon as we get it, but I think Shivering Reg is it's still three, going. Two, one, not three, two, to have a stop at 10, but we believe it's still continuing. That's it's what, that's from the top Valdemar and Hannah Bate. We have a more sale at the moment at six. So once we can just update you on Hannah, right. we'll be able to restart Penny three, two, four. Six. Yeah. And that's a Selena Elliott with Bo Diddley. That's Bo Diddley coming down the hill then. Just it. Taking all the straight routes. Just watch behind me, honey, for the water. Quickly, but so many of these top riders are very deceptive. They get held anywhere when there's a fall. Oh, good grief. Three, two, five. Yeah, that's Hannah Bates. That's Hannah, who was in... Was she second after dressage and she's That's where we started with Penny Law and Patrick Law Oh, what a shame. They're clear at 8 and B. It's a toughie. We've got an angle over this very solid no, it south focus. way. Penny Law now gallop up to seven. I can tell you that there are now seven more to start in the three start. And brought out as a five-year-old, produced by Richard himself, to this level. Had a good place here at the Brown International in Yorkshire in June. Busy boy this week, call me Charlie, he rode already Highland 4, that horse so well placed in the one star. And Jack's pride his third horse of the one star. Now to four with Valentina. Oh, oh no. At the water, the sea lock is south way. It looked like she was going the, the wrong way then. Any long oh, going quite steadily. That works. Pick up the pace on she comes to the cog. Works by Lemmer. Now Oh, Frank Pilpens went. The next start. The big thread I'd say. Good the start. Uh, shot of how they work. Very much in form. Chris King, the secret weapon. Rider on the world class program. That's who? Treated to a trip to Hong Kong. Richard Jones. We just await news of Richard Jones up at the top of the course. I think coming towards the flyer. Super Soul's back spent at 12. Well, Tokyo Flyer, South Race Super. Oh, the Apple Hedge is a 24, right on the buckle of Penny Lawn. Richard Jones at that sea lock, these imposing houses on the bounce. Jamesy, great save, balls went onto his knees almost. And then just so good over the bridge. Clambering over these fences. Regained composure on the out, but that was a great bit of riding. Real stick ability. Saw it earlier with Matthew Wright. So I think he can't give any more of an advantage than his four. He enjoys already. He comes out south way over the poacher's pocket at 29. The same lead as British Wrestling Points is really clocking up at a rate. He's almost at the 500 mark. A win here. He'll be very close on 446 at the moment. Okay. Absolutely stands a mile off the flyer at 12. That would be a good description of that standoff. Comes back now to the sea lock. Have I just missed Dolly coming over that one? Set the settle of blood a little bit. Oh, great set up! A little bit sticky over the house. And again, clambered a little bit through the, over the bridge. Has Ollie come up there yet? This championship ride for Olivia some time ago in the Young Riders. Last year went to Burley, did a lovely dressage for the top 10 placing. A trouble on the cross country, but come back in good, very good form this year. Four more to start. Julian Croson in fifth place after dressage with Jakarta. Still the exciting score to come. It's going to be a battle against the club. Start of 58.3 will be another one. We'll have a good run. Ollie Townend, Simla is clear at 12, the flyer. Chris King is over 19, so now at these big tables. Towards the moment for last year's winner, Macchiato in a different location. Chris King approaches them now. Ollie Townend, so quick. Through the sea lock at 13, he's having a shot. Yeah, yeah that's all he's turned. Yeah. Oh, he'll go start. now up to the yeah. uh, number 15. I didn't quite get course. it on camera, but I think she's. The secret weapon. 
at the Athol Hedges. Well, had the run out there down the hill at the set. The last of the Athol Hedges at 24. The horse just rattled yeah. the second part, and Chris has lost a little bit of direction. Okay, he was taken off stride and has no option but to go to the left. But jumps it the second time. And it's a frustrating late 20 for one of the challenges. Just one horse now that can overtake Paddy Deer and Stanley Brown. That is Judah Closer, the penultimate out on course. That is finished quickly through the water. The first of those.